Hi, I'm Dr. Kat Vlies, and let's continue our discussion of simple squamous epithelial tissue, and this time we're going to focus on the lining of blood vessels. We're going to use the exact same slide called the mesentery that we used to learn about mesothelium. Remember that mesothelium was located on the surface of this specimen. This time, however, we're going to take a look at what is lining the lumen of all of these blood vessels. Any blood vessels, larger blood vessels and very small ones that you can barely see on this very low magnification. I've chosen this little blood vessel right here to focus on and to learn more about the simple squamous epithelial tissue that lines all the lumens of all blood vessels. It is actually located right here. So this is a blood vessel with a relatively thick wall. All of this represents the wall of the blood vessel that you'll learn more about in your next AMP class. But we're going to focus on the very thin lining that you can barely see in this low of a magnification. The simple squamous epithelial layer that lines all blood vessels is referred to as endothelium. In the next slide, we will take a look at a higher magnification. Here we're looking at a total magnification of 400x, and we're still focusing on the inner lining of this blood vessel right there in our whole slide. What's nice now is that we can see that, that thin layer that lines the lumen of our blood vessel. We have some blood cells, damaged blood cells, red blood cells located in the lumen and we can see some of the flattened nuclei that have been kind of squished towards the surface in this particular specimen. This is a cross-section of a blood vessel as you can see on the whole slide here as well. We can actually see the simple squamous epithelial layer, we better call the endothelium, in blood vessels much better in a longitudinal view. So let's do that next. So here then we see a longitudinal view of a blood vessel. We call it a longitudinal view because we can see the length of our blood vessel, the length of our tube. Notice the little red blood cells in the lumen of our blood vessel. And this time we very nicely see the flattened nuclei of our simple squamous epithelial tissue, which we refer to in, in the blood vessels where it forms the lining of the blood vessels to form a very slick surface as the endothelium. And here we see an even higher magnification. Once again, very nice flat nuclei that belong to flat cells, probably approximately like so. This wraps up our discussion of the endothelium. We have one more part that discusses the location of simple squamous epithelial tissue in the kidneys.